Well, as I walked out the door this morning with the dog for a walk, the wind was blowing. And I picked up on some smells. And the dog picked up on some smells. Now, I'm not sure they were both the same smells. <laughs> there was a little bit more of a, a world smell for me. I would say the dog was picking up a little bit more of the planet smells. <laughs> But what it did was reminded me of how important it is to pay attention to the way that you learn. And for me, smelling isn't one of my primary ways of learning. My, I tend to uh, kinesthetically uh, get involved with it and uh, visually, auditory, then more like smelling and tasting but there's a good portion of intuiting um, as well. Now, this morning was kind of interesting, and that was more because I think the wind was blowing, and it was coming out more of the northwest. And across the road, about a kilometer and a half away from us, is a uh, downstream um, refinery. And sometimes it uh, might blow off a little bit of gas. And there was just a hint there. Now, I'm not sure why that was there. It's not always there, but today I, I picked it up. Now, it wasn't there for very long, but I just picked it up and went, oh, okay, there's a world smell. This is a world that um, humanity, uh, persons have created. And then I said, well, hang on a minute. Let me pick up. Is there something else going on here? that I could smell. And I wasn't picking up anything at, at that point in time, but what it did was it got me into some memories as I was walking. And I'd just like to return to uh, the dog. The dog's name is Georgia. And Georgia was still head up, sniffing away, and I'm thinking, okay, it's still a little bit on the dark side here. Uh, the sun hasn't quite broken the horizon for a sunrise. Is there something else out here? And lo and behold, uh, there was a, a deer not too far away. Unfortunately, and I'm using that word unfortunately, is a couple of the deer in the neighborhood have been quite habituated. They've gotten used to persons and dogs. And so long as they're not chased, they will just stand and munch and stand and look. And okay, that's all right. But uh, Georgia picked up on uh, the, uh, the deer this morning. I went, oh, okay, so maybe that was what she was smelling coming out of the house. Maybe there's something else, but unfortunately, Georgia and I can't have a direct conversation, so I don't know what else she was picking up at the time. But I, um, I acknowledged that hers was a little bit more of a planet, um, what was sort of um, nature that she was picking up. And then I started to think, as I was walking along, a little bit more light on the path. I could pick things up a little bit more so I could be a little less um, wary of what was around me. I could start to pick things up a little bit um, a little bit quicker. So from a safety point of view, uh, I was just paying attention that way. Well, what it did is it got me into thinking about what are some of smells, of the smells that bring back memories? And I went, well, immediately, you know, the, the joke often what people say is the apple pie that's resting on the countertop. Well, it's true. There is that apple pie smell that brings me back into the, into the house. My mom used to make scones. Uh, she was born in England and uh, she would make these uh, really incredible scones. And I so enjoyed that smell that uh, I knew that on the weekend, Treats ahead. I've got some raisin scones coming and I could uh, enjoy myself. And as I got a little bit older and I'd go back for visits, I would often pick up on, oh, she made some scones this morning. <laughs> and, and sure enough, there they were in the tin on the table and uh, butter was nearby. And so I'd munch on one just as I would come in, just as a way to say thanks to mom. <laughs> so it was a, it was a great memory from that perspective. The um, a counterpoint uh, goes back to the uh, world smells, 
and I would pick up on smells that came from the sense of pollution. Now, there's a couple of places I have visited uh, along the way, and very thick pollution smells, um, a mix of everything. And I remember a, a time in a country in Asia that it was almost so thick, I jokingly explained to someone as when I walked out the door, it sort of felt like I could actually take a knife, slice it, put it on a plate, and I could have eaten it. That was how thick it was. But the corresponding smell was very overwhelming in terms of how it sort of, um, in a way, just rushed at my nose, rushed at my face. And that was a, a memory of, of that day. And that was before I was paying attention to, oh, well, one could use masks um, with that pollution. I wasn't thinking about that. That was uh, a few more years ago. But it just brings back a memory of me walking out that door and uh, facing that smog and um, just thinking those thoughts. So that was kind of an interesting one. If I join the planet smells, another one that I might actually get a little bit today is that it's going to rain. And that new rain smell in a forest is kind of uh, en enjoyable for me. And I'm going to look forward to that. Is it going to happen? Which means then I may have to walk in a little bit of rain or uh, pick up on it uh, tomorrow morning. I don't know. We'll have to see how this unfolds in terms of how much rain there is. But there's that really um, wonderful smell. Um, I use a, a phrase like a, a dewy uh, smell that's there. And it, it doesn't overwhelm your nose, but you can just the subtleties of different aspects of that, that smelling of what's going on around you. So that's something to look forward to for today. So there we go. I'm just going to go back to um, another world smell. And sometimes it's around uh, the vehicles and picking up on the exhaust and that notion of, well, does it need an oil change or not? <laughs> I don't know. There's sometimes I pick up uh, the car is not in the best of shape and it needs to be tuned up, uh, cared for. And sometimes I can make that uh, distinction. And sure enough, it's true. And I check my records and I go, oh, yeah, it's getting close to time to, to take it in and um, let it be taken care of. So that's a, another way uh, that smell comes in. And I'll return for one last one into the world of the, the planet and being out there. There's, there's times when I so enjoy going up and smelling a flower and picking up what is it that's there. Is it a flower smell that I can associate with something? And there are different sort of remembrances that come about the the fragrances of of those flowers now i don't go sticking my nose right in it uh, like if i was an insect or anything um, i came close to uh, uh getting a little too close to some plants and i wasn't paying attention and there was a, a little bit of poison ivy that was close and i almost reached in until I picked up oh, three leaves. Hang on a minute. Where am I? Whoa, 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 whoa. So I was going to go in for the smell. And then I went, oh, hang on a minute. Pay attention to where you are. So that was kind of an interesting story. But I enjoy that. It, it's, it's, it's like going by a flower shop and being able to pick up. And there are times I might just walk in. Unfortunately, it's not quite the same as because a lot of the flowers are behind um, glass doors uh, being cooled. But if you get an opportunity to go to a market and the walking by the fresh flowers of that market, oh, there's a lot of different little reminders that, that come out from there. 
I guess if I was a gardener, I could probably bring that back into my life, but I'm not a gardener. Um, but occasionally there are friends that I go over and we're going to have a meal. I might just sort of poke my head out the door and just take a quick walk around the, the garden and just see what smells that are out there. So this, this story of smells uh, came about because I walked out the door and I picked up on something, but also noticed uh, George of the dog picked up on something and that brought um, this whole story of store um, of, of smells into me and stories that were associated with those smells and memories. It was kind of neat to be able to look at it, but also to become more aware of how much am I using my smelling aspect of my senses. And that was something when I'm not using it quite as much. What might I be able to do to bring that back to the foreground at times. So when it rains this afternoon, I think I'm going to get out there with the raincoat or umbrella and I'm going to see what I can pick up. So I have something to look forward to today. So with that, take care and enjoy all of the smells that come to you on any given day, whether they be world or planet based. Take care.